Yes guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now if you've been following the channel the last couple of weeks, you'll know from last week's video that today we are changing the oil filter housing on the Mark II ST. Now I've got it down in the box down here. I'll uh, spin you around and show you exactly what we've got. Right, what we've done is we ordered this. Uh, part number's in the video description below. And I've also ordered this hose as well, which I can't believe this hose was 20 quid. But we ordered one of them as well because I don't know what mine's going to be like on the car. So I'll put the part number for that in the description as well. Um, I think when you order these from the tuners and Ford and everywhere else, you can you you might pay a little bit more than what I've paid, but you'll get everything um, that you'll need. But I only need this, and I've got that as a precaution. I might not even need that, but I'll probably use it anyway. Um, so when you get this, in the back of it, you've got a seal up there white one and you got the black seal there they come with this kit you also get a new o-ring there that white bit is the new o-ring and inside there is a brand new filter oil filter so that's what you get when you order that now that was 150 quid plus vat which came to 180 pound ish and then like i said this was about 20 quid um altogether it came to i think it was 208 pound for for everything so the pipe the housing that o-ring and the oil filter and then obviously that o-ring and that seal there so what i'm going to do now is going to go down to the car car's waiting us in the garden go down and take off i believe this one and this one are for the oil dipstick i might be wrong it might be this one and this one might even be all three i'm not too sure i haven't actually looked um so yeah we'll undo those to get the dipstick out of the way and off of there that way when we've on dis when we disconnected this and everything else then um it'll all be out the way ready for us what we're going to do is start in the engine bay and just to make everything easier for me i'm going to take the induction kit and the box off and then i want to move this and sort of prop it over that way so obviously it'll sit around here somewhere so it's out of the way as much as possible so we've got enough room to get around the oil filter housing I'm also going to jack the car up just so that I can get to uh, the bolts that are underneath because I think it'd be easier to get the ones right underneath there. Right, okay, so now we've got the airbox out of the way and ECU moved out of the way, we can gain access to a lot more. So that pipe that I showed you that I've ordered is obviously this one. It comes out of the top of here, comes out, comes down, and then it actually goes into the top of the oil filter housing there. So that's what we need to do. One thing I would advise anyone else to do, which I haven't, is order this one because this is very likely to be perished. Um, so I'm going to have to order that and change that, unfortunately, at a different date. But you can also see a lot more of the gunk around the top of this here. So, like I say, I'm going to get the bolts out for the dipstick tube now, which is obviously this one. And I believe there's one a bit further down. I might be wrong. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, I'm wrong. There's just the one. So just undo that bolt and then that can move freely out of the way. Um, and then we can start looking at getting the bolts out. Right, guys. I've just took this bolt out of the hole for the dipstick. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each bolt as I take it out of my old one I'm going to put it in the relevant holes that it relates to so once they go back I know where everything's supposed to go and I've got all the holes in the correct places got all the bolts in the correct holes rather so I'm just going to put this one into this hole and it's not actually threaded and when I'm looking none of the holes are actually threaded so what you're going to need to do is get your bolt out put it in that hole line it up as best you can and tighten it up to create uh, the thread using the actual bolt itself. I did read somewhere else that that might have been the case. Um, so yeah, you're definitely going to have to do that. So I want to thread that into there now so that when it, it's back on the car, it's not as hard to try and thread. Um, so I'll await a comment about cross threading in the, the comments from Craig or James. So I'll just give you a little update because obviously I've not been filming me taking bits off and whatnot but I've got that off and I've undone the clip from there so that's ready to come off. I've just placed that back over there so it doesn't let anything else in. Um, same with the oil filter itself, I've, I've loosened that off but I've kept it in there so nothing can fall in and potentially get into there. Um, that screw 
went in fine it was nice and easy got the pipe on ready um i've just got now so oh, what i will say is on here there's like there's one two three four five six seven eight there's eight different holes there all that you need is that one for the dipstick that one which you can get from the top you can get and then there's these three you can get them from the top but i'm going to go underneath just because i think it'd be a, a little bit easier these ones don't get used uh, they must be for something else what i don't know but um yeah so just to actually take this unit off it's one two three and four up there that one's not threaded because it just goes straight through and then bolts into the block and i imagine it's the same with these three um so it's only that one that you'll have to re-thread but again i just put that on there lined it up properly turned it with my fingers and then got a ratchet on it and it went in fine um anything else i need to i don't think there was anything else but uh yeah so just down it's down there now you got that one there and one above it and then there's one uh, where is it? There, just there, next to that hole. So we get those three undone, and hopefully it doesn't peel oil out everywhere because I haven't actually drained my oil. Um, I haven't been able to get the service kit that I wanted to yet. Um, I missed the deadline for next day, so I'm gonna have to wait to order that till on Tuesday. Um, so I'm hoping I can try and keep the oil that's in there. If I can't and it goes everywhere, then I'm gonna be walking up to the shops. I've got to the last bolt and it's rounded just see him there absolutely chewed up i may have had something to do with that i might not have done but yeah this the one that was in uh, that hole and that bolt there was so tight but because there's a lot of access underneath here i could actually get some leverage on it but that one up there incoming at all so i'm going to try and take off these aircon pipes, but because there's nothing in them, I never had it recharged from when I uh, swapped the engine. So I'm gonna undo, there's a bolt there you can see for this bigger pipe. And then when I follow this one round, I think it's just there, that bolt is for this uh, thinner pipe. So I'm gonna do that, take them upwards um, to get it out of the way. And now we'll try and hammer a, a nine mil over that bolt to try and get, get it off that way. Boys, that was an absolute pain in the backside. Um, oh, it was so difficult. Look at the state of this. Got all these marks on here. I basically had to get the grinder out, um, but there was barely any room. So I've lost the bolt, but we had to chop it off and then sort of grind it down and stuff like that. But I literally hadn't got any other way of doing it. And as you can see, there's not much room here. You, you, I, I tried to hammer a, a nine mil on, but like I said, there was just that little room. It weren't happening, like, but we got it off. So, uh, obviously, these here that you can see, the yellow rings, that's from the aircon, like I said. Uh, I'd move them out of the way to try and get the normal on, but that didn't work. So, just going to clean all this gunk up and uh, out of that one, too. And then we shall be able to reattach the new one, which is sitting pretty right there, ready to go in. Um, one thing I will say is you don't need to drain your oil as you can see the car is up slightly in the air so maybe that's helped um tilting the oil back into the other side of the sump but either way you don't need to drain your oil to do it i know it doesn't look like it but i've cleaned up that surface that surface and this one as best i can um so now we're just going to reinstall that back in the car and i'm going to have to order another one of these um when you go to Volvo and you give them the part number and they bring it up on the screen, they can bring up a whole complete picture of this. So if you say I need the bolt from da 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 or you know the, the pipe or you know any any bit of that, they have it on screen. So it's a complete thing, and uh, they'll be able to give you what you need. These are the three bolts of the four that I've got left, and as you can see, they are all the same size. So obviously, if you do ring them up and need. A bolt at least you know all those are the same size so i'm going to put one of these in the hole that was difficult to get out of i'm going to put one in one's going to go in there one's going to go in there and one's going to go in the hole that was up there um and then i'm going to leave this one and order that one for there 
and then um, when it comes I can easily just jack the car up and get it in there so for now let's get these bolts in there and start putting everything back together right guys we have put the car back together and everything seems fine just took it out for a run um let it get up to temperature and that and everything seems fine so we're all good on that front um i haven't checked to see if there's any leaks yet because i've literally just got back uh, from taking it on a little run so i'll check that in a minute but before i left nothing was leaking then so i think we'll be all good there um obviously as you can see temperatures are all up to normal and uh Everything seems fine there, and there's, there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dash. Um, now that I'm back on level ground, I'll uh, leave it till tomorrow, and then I will check the oil and see if there's any leaks underneath, but I don't think there will be, to be honest. Uh, I'll leave all the part numbers in the description below, and uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to Volvo as well. I forgot to mention at the start of the video. When I went to pick the part up that was supposed to be closing, and I got there at like 5 to 4, that was closing at 4, and because everyone had gone home this one guy had stayed that little bit later and um obviously let me in got me my parts and stuff so it was a massive massive thank you to him um but like share and subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought of the install and whatnot and if you have any questions about it let me know i'll be happy to answer them i'll see you in the next one guys peace out